Hi, my name is Donatella Arapaya, chef, restaurateur, Iron Chef judge. It's fair to say I know my way around the kitchen. But ever since becoming a mom of three, I truly get the modern woman's plight. So whether you're working in an office, remotely from home, or just struggling with homeschooling and being a full-time mom, it's really hard to find cooking solutions that work and that you can rely on. Phillips makes creating delicious soups easier than ever. All you have to do is add the ingredients into the soup maker and select one of the six preset programs. Let me show you how easy it is. All you have to do is select one of the following. Puree, chunky, milk base for optimized heating, compote, smoothie or cold soup, or manual if you just wanna use it as a blender. Today I'm excited to show you how to make one of my family favorites, butternut squash soup using the Philips Soup Maker. Look how easy it is. All you do is open up the top. I'm adding a couple of tablespoons of olive oil, some butternut squash cubed, and although they're unevenly cut, like these chunks are bigger, I don't really have to worry because I know that with Philips, I'm gonna put it on the puree setting and it's gonna become smooth and consistent some shallots. You can use onion if you don't have shallots. I have some garlic, several cloves. This is such a healthy soup and really most kids love it, especially if you add a little sweetness to it. I'm also gonna add a little heat. Um, I think when you think about soup, you always think heat and sweet balances each other out. Get a little spoon, a little Calabrian chili but if you don't like spice, you don't need to add that. I have star anise, but it's very strong in cloves, so I'm just adding a couple of pieces in. A little goes a long way, and a little bit of honey for sweetness. You can get any kind of honey you want. Manuka, there's so many great infused honeys. You can use truffle honey. You can really, once you know the basics of this soup, you can have a lot of fun with it. And then chicken broth, there's a min and max line in. You wanna make sure it's placed at the max line. And this can really feed two generous portions or appetizers for four. I need to stir all my ingredients. I can't believe how easy this is. I'm gonna add a little thyme in. Remember when you add thyme, all you have to do is take a strip like that. Oh, I'm forgetting the salt and pepper. I have the Calabrian chili, so don't need the pepper. But you definitely need some salt. And you can always adjust at the end for taste. Here we go. It's super easy. You make sure it's engaged. I'm setting it to the puree setting, and then that's it. I'll see you here in about 18 minutes. Okay, so my soup is done and I'm excited because I know it comes out great and consistent every time. All I have to do is unplug, which I love, because I can bring this to the table. Because I don't know about you, but sometimes my members of my family come down at different times and it stays warm. Lift up the handle. And pour. Ooh, look how good, it smells so good in here. Yum. Oh, smells like fall. Okay, so this is how you become like mom to super mom chef. It's all about the garnishes. I have some pumpkin seeds in here, which you can buy at the store. Don't start like making your own pumpkin and doing it yourself, it's a mess. Just on a dry pan, you just wanna toast them. And I think when you think about making soups, you should think about uh, what's happening in your mouth and your eyes, because we eat with our eyes first and our nose. It's a smooth soup, so adding the seeds adds texture and crunch. So as this toasts, I'm gonna start working on my other pretty things. A little honey for sweetness. Have fun with that. Ooh. I am adding a little mascarpone cream. It's like an Italian cream cheese. I mean, I'm Italian. And it's just so gorgeous if you add a little bit and swirl it in at the table just really a nice thing. It's kind of adding cream at the end. Then I'm gonna add a little 
salt and pepper. Okay, a little lavender flower because it's pretty if you happen to have them around. Okay, and I just found these amazing little blue flowers. They're called corn flowers and they're edible and apparently immunity boosting, which is good to have these days. Now we're gonna add little papitas and they just add this gorgeous crunch to your soup. Dinner is served. 